Hi, this is Chelsea Darnell Jong, and the purpose of this video is to make sure getting started with EnterCalc is smooth and frustration free. Whether you're a trial user, new to the program, or just need a refresher, over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through some key things you need to know so that you can hit the ground running with confidence. Now let's get started. First, we're going to open up EnterCalc. If you haven't installed and activated EnterCalc yet, please refer to the installation and activation instructions you received via email to get the program up and running. If you need those instructions again, or if you have any issues with installation or activation, please email us at support at entercalc.com. I'm going to go ahead and open up EnterCalc from my desktop. Now, if this is your first time using the program, or if you're sharing seats with other users in your organization, you'll likely be prompted to choose an activation type when you open the program. For additional information on these activation types, please check out our activation video. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to select Automatic, and then continue to the app. Now on the Project Assistant page, I can either select an existing project file to work in, or I can create a new project by selecting Create a New Project. This opens up the file location on my computer that I've set up for storing my EnterCalc project files. So I'm going to give my project a name, and then save my project file. Now we can see that EnterCalc went ahead and opened that Chelsea's home project file for me, and now I can start working in this project. The first step in any new project is to open the General tab and enter the project-specific details. Now, these four sections are optional. Filling them out can help organize your work and ensure your calculation outputs include relevant project information. I'm not going to go over these tabs in detail right now, but I do want to show you the Building Code Information section. So let's open that up. Now, this is where we tell EnterCalc what the governing code for our project is, what version of ASC 7 we should be using, and which load combinations should be the default load combinations for the calculations that we generate in this project. Starting with our governing code section at the top, we can select one of these options. And that selection controls the associated material design standards that are going to be used for the material capacity checks for this project. So for example, what version of AISC, NDS, or ACI 318. Moving on, you'll see that we can select the ASC 7 edition independently of the IBC version here. We also have the option to add a state-specific code compliance note on our reports. Clicking this box gives us the ability to decorate our calculation reports with a customized note. We can choose to start with a generic note, and then we can easily customize this note for our project as needed. Moving down, we can select the load combination set that we want to use as the default for this project. So you'll notice that the load combination set is not tied to the governing code that we've selected for this project, and this is because users might choose to use either default ASC 7 or IBC load combinations, or they might choose to use their own custom load combinations. Now once you've updated all the information in this building code information page, you can save and close. Now let's start adding some calculations. Let's say I want to add a wood beam calculation to my project. I can do this by clicking into my calculations folder and then clicking this add button. Then I can navigate to my beams tab and I can select my wood beam module. And from here we are going to navigate through these tabs to input all of our relevant design information. I'm going to speed through some inputs here so that I can highlight some key features of the EnterCalc user interface. Okay, now that we have some information in this calculation, I want to point out this side-by-side -side layout, where we have our inputs on the left and outputs on the right. And you'll notice that as I made changes to my inputs, I could see my outputs updating in real time. And when we're happy with our inputs, we can direct our attention over to the output side of the screen, and we can start to look at our deflection performance, our stress ratio performance, we can look at detailed design results, we can review our diagrams, And based on our output results, we can choose a design that's appropriate and save and close to finish this calc out. Now, if you have any questions or if you need additional information, you can always access additional resources by navigating to the Help tab in your program. Or you can always email us at support at and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.